of the Great One. Today is a special day. Tonight, we receive from the Great One instructions on how to mark the centenary anniversary of our foundation. As representatives of the larger community, we must pay attention. Queens of the Great One, we have the privilege My daughters, I thank you all for living the faith. This one month that I will be with you is to prepare for the centenary anniversary of the Great One, whom I and you have accepted as the author and finisher of our faith. <laughs> you are all beneficiaries of his providence. And now, I demand from you fresh blood of the following categories of our believers. Begging girls and boys, men and women in their 50s. <laughs> we must be serious. We must be very serious about this. I can read it through your public mind, my daughter. Pour out your heart. Great one, how do we pull this through? I mean, what time do we have? And how do we package it? Time! Time! You have between now and the eve of the centenary celebration. For modes of packaging. Daughters of the Great One. Whenever you take a soul, the blood is lost in this. In this. <laughs> Go! Can you please hurry up? The kids are almost through with their meal. I'll be right there with you, Mom. My yeah, dad is trying to play fast one on us. We are going to school late again. As long as my daddy will take us to school, nobody will punish us. Shut up! What do you mean by that? Angel, you won't be late for school, okay? 
Polly, please hurry up. Hurry up, please. Almost through. Mom, when is Aunt Teresa coming back? That'll be this weekend. Mom, why is it that Aunt Teresa closes two times while we close three times? Blockhead. Aunt Teresa is in university. No, 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 Angel. You don't use such harsh words on your brother. Or anyone else. I promise you, you won't do that again. I promise, Mom. All right, kids, I'm through. Let's go. Okay. Not so fast, honey. You have to get that food. Mom, I almost late to school. So, Dad, promise Mom you'll eat very, very well tomorrow. I promise. With all my heart. Come on, kids, let's go. So how, how was the courtroom today? Well, very stressful. As usual. A few convicts here and there. Uh -huh. I hope none of your convicts are directly or indirectly connected to us. Come on, Radiance. You should know me better than that. Okay. Uh -huh. About the forthcoming um, celebration and the demand of the Grand Master. Yes. Um, do you see us pulling it off? Radiance, if you the queen with a cut eye, an eye with such a gripping power like a spider should express fear, then what becomes of the others? Well, not that you and I are in doubt, but the others. <laughs> so? Well, um, I just want us to map out a master plan to make this thing very easy for us. Good. Then stop worrying and start thinking. Okay? So how is your husband? Oh, he's fine. Did you know that this guy is actually beginning to enjoy the, the fame that comes with being a, a would-be minister's husband? <laughs> Give me five. Those are the benefits of handsomeness. I mean, <laughs> it is not to his ear. It is not. <laughs> eh, Rangers, so it is because of this your worries that you did not allow me to finish in my court. And you just summoned me with a matching order to come to your office. I'm sorry. Okay, now, what would you give to me? Well, just give me time to tidy up this office. I'll take you out, okay? To a Chinese restaurant. Okay?
You got it? Yeah, it's all in here. The rest is in the discard. The network is getting overloaded. That technically means poor service to our subscribers. From your point of view, from where I stand, we are getting more subscribers on the network. And that means good news to the marketing department. It beats my imagination why people still believe in this network despite all of this. Pride, Mark. Pride! Huh? And um, I hope your technical man will be fast about it. Hmm? Sorry, Dad. I'm going to see my friend Faith. Who is Faith and what does she do for a living and where does she live? Um, now listen to me. I am your father. And I need to know the kind of company you are keeping. And besides, if anything happens to you, I will be held responsible. I'm sorry, Dad. I, I promise it won't repeat itself again. Anyway, to tell your friend, um, Faith, or whatever you call her, that your father would like to see her. Is that clear? Okay. I need Thank to know you. the kind of company you are keeping. Thank you, then. Who is this faith that is trying to take my daughter out of the house? See, faith. Okay. Please. The task before us is a big one, but we must overcome. There is no going back on this one. We must derive various strategies of achieving our set goals. Yes, fellow wins. Our duty is to the great one want to keep enjoying what he gives to us must be fulfilled. We have to be united in choosing the means of achieving these set goals. And from all indications, my regular supplies from the hospital cannot hold. No single patient in my hospital falls under the category of those stipulated by the Grandmaster. So what do we do? My own areas are tight too. Can you imagine all these market women going from one church to another? As I'm talking to you people now, they are either having Hosanna night or they're having nights of peace.
Enough of these unreasonable excuses that are not interesting. Otherwise, you will be misled. Faith, faith, ever did see. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry I didn't see you walking. Okay. Hi, this is another masterpiece. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is wrong with you? It's my father. What is wrong with him? He said he wants to see you. That he's worried about the kind of friend I have. Is that why you're frowning? <laughs> okay, okay. I'll go with you to meet him. Really? Mm -hmm. hey, that's nice. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> so what's been happening to you? Um, I said nothing much. What happened to you? You didn't come to fellowship yesterday. My dear, my hands were full. Let me see the customers I had. It was not easy. So what happened then? There was a revelation that something strange is about to happen in this country. I was really shocked when I heard it. I was shocked. Oh God. But what still worries me is that I have not been able to see Pastor. Anyway, I hope you're not in a hurry. Because you have to see me complete this. It's beautiful. Okay, so what yes, is this? It's called Narrow Path. Narrow Path. <laughs> you know, get a seat for yourself. <laughs> get any seat in there, okay? What you are proposing is sound technically. But financially, the company is suffering. Guys, since neither the customer nor the government is contested, we, we can go no, on, gentlemen. Of what use is it that we rake in millions and then provide little or no service to our subscribers? But no one is complaining. Oh. I want to believe that with catchy adverts and the reduction in price of our same packs, we can sustain it. I don't see why we have to overflow this. We are the only indigenous executive members of this network. And I bet you, none of our foreign countries are getting that mark that would not sell our country short. Because none of our foreign bigwigs will allow for such a thing as overcharged tariffs in their country. All right, all right. All right, now, correct. I understand what you're saying. But what about the recent government policy? Banning the importation of recharge cards? It is yes, James, what about it? Don't you see that it's affecting the network? Many of our subscribers have to the network. Look guys, the government is right. If other networks can source their own cards locally, then why can't we? I can see that the financial state of this network is of no concern to you. You're damn wrong, Sam. Damn wrong. The very moment government takes a stand against high quality equipment which haven't produced it, then I'll take the stand that you are. But until then, guys, since we can manufacture the scats locally, let's do it. For once, let's put our country first. And then these expatriates will buckle up. Um, we have to return to the office. Hmm? Okay then, until next week's meeting. Yes. But please, the essence of this is that we all speak with one voice. Yeah. One voice. One voice. One voice. One voice. Have a wonderful day. You too, man.
supposed to meet my friend, Juliet. What's your name? Yeah. Please, oh. Rick, she must have been killed by a hunt to for Richard. God. God has saved her. Of course. Honey, honey, please. Can we take her home? It's okay. It's okay. Sonia, would you, would you like to come home with us? We are friends now. Yes, we are friends now. Okay, you are safe. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, okay? Just look at that. Take a look at the quantity of blood that we've got here. Much is needed. There must be a way out. I'm of the opinion that we consult the wise one first. 
grand master. Your children beckons, seeking guidance. What do we do? Why worry when, when you have the answers before you? before you? Great one, please reveal to us the way out. I have, I have heard your plans. <laughs> your only, your only way, way out is through, through the new mobile, mobile networks. networks. Yes. 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 Stop looking. looking. Go to DTTW and get Mr. Mr. Mark, Mark or Sai. Si. He is intelligent, intelligent. But, but very, very disciplined. He is a point man. But that is God, God a tough one. one. Through, Through his connections to one, one of the networks, networks. whoever that picks, picks up the phone, phone, phone will die. Will die. <laughs> <laughs> we must take this seriously. Have you ever thought of what this world would have looked like if God were to be man? In his wisdom, he came down, having everything but sin. My sister, it would have been hell. Just the thought of the evil that is going on and how men plan to outdo each other. Look, Jay, the fact that one is living, that does not know the source of life, but thinks of taking another man's life, is a big insult to God. I tell you, it is. One just has to pray that this revelation. They are here, they are everywhere. Agents of darkness, they have disguised themselves like wolves. In sheep clothing, they are men on the night watch. Can I see what you have in your booth? Oh, you people are working very hard. I want to commend your activities. Thank you, sir. You are working very, very hard. Uh, keep it up. Thank you. Uh, well, this is my entourage and um, I'm going for a party. Uh, meanwhile, this is weekend and I would like you to um, to have this. Just have I don't need your money! Let me see what is inside this booth! Uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to use boot. Um, open the boot for me. Open the boot.
You are all witnesses to what happened here today. That group one is not happy with the situation of things. He has revealed who Mark Osai is. And from all indications, he is a handsome, hardworking man. But to work him, we must have to distract his attention. Linda, come forward. We will live in at your mercy. I am here to do the wish of the Great One. all the artwork for the exhibition. When is it coming up? What? Honey, don't tell me you forgot it's coming up in a week's time. Oh. Look, I'm, honey, I'm so, 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 How so sorry. I'm sorry, okay? But so much to think of. Hmm. So you have a busy week ahead of you? Mm -hmm. I still need it. I'll see what I can do. Isn't Rita coming over for a holiday? Yes, she is tomorrow. Oh. But that doesn't mean you won't spare me some time. Mm. You bet I will. And now, back to business. Can we? <laughs>
Auntie, what's wrong with you these days? It takes you quite some time to answer my calls. I'm sorry, sir. I have a lot on my table. That's okay. I want you to prepare a memo informing the entire staff of the technical department of an emergency meeting tomorrow. Okay, sir. Is that all, sir? And that will be all for now, thank you. But I want to believe that Linda must have taken over. Come on. Have you thought of what will become of us if Mark refuses? I don't see him refusing. But if he does, the great one will pay him a visit. Well, let's not talk about that. Because I know once Linda is through, we will step in. Okay. So what's new? What's new about the forthcoming cabinet reshuffle? I hope you're not involved. Me? Removed? <laughs> Baby girl, they never born the president with a fit remove me. Oh yeah? <laughs> the president is even considering me as the new attorney general of the Federation. Baby! Baby <laughs> fight! <laughs> that makes me the new chief justice you can say that again. You are all blown up. Ah, good afternoon. 
Big man, the first thing you should do is to add welcome onto to your list. Okay. Uh -huh. That's more like it. Well, I bought what you all asked for, okay? <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys. I think you should allow a team to go upstairs and take a shower, okay? So, should I come watch TV with us, okay? Okay? Yes, should I come, come this way? Come this way. Alright, sis, you have no money to your work. I'll be right back. Eh? Ah! No, Talk to me now, please. Eh? Please, yeah. God, you're running the temperature. Are you taking some drugs? No, I'm done. I've seen this. Yes, I am done with the temperature. No, I'm not taking any drugs. Oh, I need down some bath, okay? Excuse me. Collection, like I wish to pick as many as possible. Oh, you're so beautiful, you know, and I hope you want this much. <laughs> you, you have all of them. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Darling, you made my good friend drink sleeping sleep, my darling wife. How are you, madam? My pleasure. Congratulations on your exhibition. Thank you very much. This is beautiful. Thank you. Um, darling, I've got to run. I've got so many things to do in the office, okay? I'll see you later. Excuse me, Mrs. Osai. This charming young man must be your husband. I'm Dr. Evan. My pleasure. Rush enough? Uh, yes, I actually have one or two things to do in my office. Oh, okay. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Thank you. I'll, I'll see you later, darling. Oh, my 
you know where you're going. And she delivered. Same thing happened to her. What do you mean? She is dead. Dead? She died at the point of giving birth. Strange things are happening in this hospital. How do you know that? For the past few days, only problems with my mom's coming and leaving. Only problems with this woman here. Daddy, this is Faith, my friend. And Faith, this is my dad. My pleasure, sir. So this is the lady who has been responsible for your absence in this house. Hello, anyway, sit down. Hello. Thank you, sir. I am Ibo, sir. Oh, I see. Ibo. Yes, sir. I see. Ibo. Are you single or married? <laughs> I am married, sir. You're married? Yes, sir. That's interesting. You are married. And um, what is the name of your husband? Where does he come from? His name is Mark Osai. We both come from the same place. Where does he work? He works with a firm called DTW. DTW? Yes, sir. DTW. Your former company? Yes. DTW. Mark. You know him, sir? Oh, well, the name is familiar. Anyway. Enjoy yourselves. I'm busy. I'll come back. Thank you. Come on. Let's have us some drinks. Intimidated by that. Oh, not at all. He's a nice man. You know, daughters and fathers are always very close. I understand where he's coming from. Thank you. Well, let me help you with that. All right. And this is your house too. <laughs> so, are you coming to church tomorrow? Tell me, what's your prayer life like? Oh, it's been wonderful, you know. I attend a lot of prayer meetings and... Mm, that's good. It's very important. Prayer is very important. Yeah. It keeps you focused. It puts your body and soul together. Uh -huh. yes. I think I now remember who your husband is. Okay, sir. We used to be friends while I was working with DTW. Oh yes, and um, after I changed my line of business, we lost contact. Oh, that's nice. It's really good to know that um, you are married to him. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. My regards to him, and um, please, you are welcome to my house any time that you wish. Thank you, sir. It's Thank good. you very much. Sorry, I have to run down, sir. I have to, so I can get something ready for my family. Uh, uh, so soon. <laughs> Jenny, I would have loved to stay more, but for obvious reasons, I can't. Some other time. Thank That's you. Right. It was nice meeting you, sir. Uh, it's my pleasure. Thank you very much. But do tell your husband that, um, that you met with me. I will, sir. Thank you, sir. Right. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Fred, so this is... 
is the lady, Miss Lady, my daughter. Yes, there is a serious case. A pregnant woman needs your urgent attention. Okay, I'll be there in a moment. The fresh blood has he demanded is on board.
It's about time we became watchful of those so-called men and women of God. Death is not the greatest tragedy, but life that fails to fulfill its potential. So what are we waiting for? And remember that he who wastes time wastes his life. And I want to remind us that the quality of our preparations determines the quality of our performance. I admire your thoughts. But nothing is impossible with us because impossibility vanishes when a man and his God confront a situation. In a challenging battle like this, we must look at what we have left and never look at what we have lost. In that case, I will therefore call on my daughters, with radiance, 
Great Olori, Great Linda, and Great Ama, this mission is yours to accomplish. Congratulate you and your wife oh, on the birth yeah. of your please new come. baby. Okay, please come. Okay. Come. Thank you. Please. Delegated us come and see you and congratulate you on your new baby. We are from the singing ministry. <laughs> My name is Sister Love, Sister Grace, mm -hmm. Sister Favor. You're welcome, sisters. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. What about the baby? Oh, he's inside. I'll just go get him for you. Great Hankusas. Atulas, Atulas, Atulas. 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 Atulas, At
soft drink. Me too. Water. Okay. A moment please. Okay. Take your time. Why can't Regent do this baby? He said it was. Queen of the Great One, the Great Hankusas has commanded that you must put the baby inside the bottle. And it must be now. Put the baby inside the bottle.
Next time oh. you want a kind of visitor, you are allowed to. Oh, oh, Jesus. Very careful. Oh, Queens of Queens, the hour has come for us to rise and fight. No doubt, there is no problem without a solution. This is the second time that I am reminding you of your promise. Be one! Be one! Be one! You have no freedom until you have done all I ask you to do. Great messenger, what mistakes was he talking about? No doubt we've made mistakes, but the mistakes we failed to correct will definitely destroy us. And so, queens of queens, the time has come. The time has come for us all to go and hunt for blood. Blood so that you can fortify yourself and be sanctified in the presence of the great master and lord. Oh yes. Queens of Queens, this is your moment, the moment of truth. But yes, this is your hour, Queens. Your hour has come. The great master has spoken. Yes, this is the moment, the moment of truth. Help me get the truth. I need blood. I trust in you, great Angusas. Help me get the truth. Help me. I must get blood to be. I must. I'm better at this case. I wonder why mama I'm not come to because this is the deep from Lexi and I am truly hungry. I'm never afraid that mom is coming up because all you know is food, food, food every time. Sorry, I didn't know what came over me. Come my him, I asked him to get out of the way, but she refused. I thought it was my mom's car, that's why I stood here. Don't worry, it's not his fault. It was my fault, just like I said, okay? I'll make it up to you. Let me get you some. Take this money and buy anything you want with it. Thank you, ma. We have enough money for us now. Okay, you don't want money. Let me get you some biscuits, okay? But I'm not a stranger. Remember, the Bible said we must do our prayer. Well. You know, let's listen.
my dear. Where is your mommy? Your mommy has gone to the office. Okay. Would you want me to take you in my car? You don't want to go with me. Okay, let me give you money to buy biscuits. Plenty money. Plenty, plenty money. Okay? Eh? has taken too much of my time. You know now my club, Frank's Foundation. Oh, no. yes. Oh, yes. I remember. You see, uh, very soon we are celebrating our centenary anniversary. And you see, all the things I need to do has practically taken over all my time. So that's why you don't get to see me. Hey. I've been longing to see you. Hey. Hey. What do you do? They want to spoil their own and not mine. Oh, oh. Can you believe that the contract I almost secured, that worth more than 200 million, uh -huh. has been confiscated oh, by the chairman of the contract awarding board? How do you mean? How did you do it? What happened? What have you done about Are it? Are you asking me? I've done practically all I could. Offered this man five million naira, but he refused. I've tried all my connections, both state and federal, but all to no avail. Who will react by me? Help me, Elijah. I'm going to assist you. That is, if you now make up your mind to be a member of my club. Once you are a member, you won't have all these problems. These are petty, petty little things. Yes, yeah. man. I too sorrow. Uh, what am I waiting for? It's all right. Huh? I would do anything to get this 200 million. Yeah. I know that you have agreed. Just 
All you need to do is give me the details, I mean the particulars of the man who is to award that contract and everything is you have the contract. No, no, that's all. That is all. I'm in. <laughs> Not to worry. Uh, I'll call Malaja. As for the procedure of being a member of my club, you know, I will keep you just on that now. Small thing. Anyway, come on. Tonight, we shall fill the vacant position of our great dog. Today is a special day. Our tradition demands. All of it, go and bring that.
Israel consider all the problems so friends of the great one welcome our new member to our group. Mr. Nobody. I don't even understand who you are, let alone your daughter. You had better not. But I'm here to warn that you are playing with the daughter of a lion. Please, leave my office. Please. No, no, no. You can't do this to me. You want to be in your life and not just like that. Chairman, please. in your 200 million naira contract. I'm far bigger than that. You have a number. Call her. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. 24 hours. It's, it's okay, sir. Please. Sorry, sir. 